Next week is an interesting time because we're going into, as I had mentioned, the Tuesday evening is the first of the month of Av. And I thought about it while I was sitting there and Pastor Mark was talking. We were thinking about the calendar. Some people say, well, what's the month of Av? What is, uh, you know, what's Elul? What's Tammuz? You know, these are the, the Hebrew months of the, calen of the calendar. It's a different calendar. Quite frankly, it happens to be God's calendar. How many of you carry a day timer, an iPod? Day timers are kind of outdated. Outdated day timer. Carry an iPod or you have a, some kind of a program or something that you follow. You have your calendar on your wall or so on. Well, some of us have those personal ones, you know, where, where you're, you have your own kind of a calendar so you know what you're doing next week or Tuesday or who you're going to lunch with or when you're supposed to pay the bank or any of the, those different dates. What happens if somebody came while you weren't looking and switched out your day timer and put their own dates in there? And so you start getting these phone calls Hey, I thought we were going to lunch today. Hey, or the bank calls. Hey, your payment was due a week ago. Well, somebody came in and changed all the dates. Quite frankly, that's what the institutions have done to God's calendar. He set all of the dates for us and went to meet at certain times. Of course, Shabbat is one of those, but also as well as the feast and other times that are important to our destiny. And it was changed, and we have what's called today the Gregorian calendar. Uh, um, of course, there's other names for it as well. Now, of course, we're not going to, everybody knows today it happens to be Saturday. It happens to be the 30th of July. Okay, we'll go with that. But on God's calendar, it's a different day. And his days, how do we know that they're his days? Because in the Torah, he tells us very specifically, as, as uh, Pastor Mark shared about Aaron, you know, which day that was. It's the 15th of the first month or the, or the 10th day of the second month and so on and so forth. He's very specific about that. So therefore, if God sets a day timer how he wants things, it would behoove us to follow the things the way he wants us to follow them, correct? And so that's why we observe, you know, the specific dates that he talks about. And of course, t Tuesday evening is the beginning of the month of Av, which then leads into the month of Elul, which is known as the time when the king is in the field. And then, of course, we go into the feasts after that period of time. Now, before we get into worship here, I'm going to have you stand in a minute. Very important thing about the cities of refuge. The sages say, and many of you know this, some of you don't, you're, under, so you're familiar with the term Lashon Hara, uh, which is evil speech. The sages say that when you commit Lashon Hara, which is to slander an individual or to speak evil about a person, you commit murder. You're not, the speaker himself who, who speaks Lashon Hara is involved in the murder himself. The person that listens to it is also involved in the murderous part of it. And also, who's murdered in this, of course, is the subject of the Lashon Hara or the evil speech. And what do we know from what Pastor Mark just taught, that if somebody unintentionally or by accident, someone gets killed or murdered, if they want to save their life, they run to a city of refuge and then they're bound to stay there. The sages also say that the Torah is related to being a city of refuge. And the Hebrew word for run, it's literally you run to a city of refuge before the avenger catches up with you. And we're exhorted to run to Torah. The Hebrew word for run is the word rats, and the, the word for will is ratzon, because running, if you're running into a sprint, it involves an action of the will to keep the endurance up to get there. That's what it requires for us to stay within Torah because when we're within Torah in the city of refuge, we will be invulnerable to what happens around us. But the minute you step out of that, you're vulnerable to what the blood avenger can do. So therefore, we need to know our boundaries. 